Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas at the HIMSS conference where I'm now delighted to be joined by Carly Rowe, SVP of Project Management and Interim President at Anovalon. Carly, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Pleasure to be here with you as well. Carly, at Anovalon, you are enabling the power of data to improve healthcare outcomes and economics. How is your data foundation driving better outcomes across your ecosystem? Yeah, you know, um, take the provider for instance, right? The most important thing for a provider is having the data available before they ever see the patient, right? You need to understand what's going on in the patient before they ever even show up for the appointment. With Anovalon, that means for us, do we understand or does the provider understand the insurance information of that patient? What benefits are accessible to that patient for them to go and receive care? Or, for example, with our tools that allow us to understand the acuity of a patient and matching the credential of the nurse taking care of that patient to ensure that the care being delivered is going to be optimal for the patient's situation. Or a third example might be when we're looking at kind of the adverse impacts of particular drugs, how we prevent the adverse actions from happening with that particular patient, serving those insights up to providers, again, either before or at the moment of care is absolutely critical to ensuring that the patient's going to have the best outcome possible in their care. Great insights, thank you for that, Carly. How has the AI Data Cloud enhanced your ability to deliver these insights that matter to payers, providers, and life sciences organizations? Oh, I love this question. Data is all around us, right? Um, every interaction that we have creates new data, which is fantastic. But there is a challenge in making sure that that data can be accessible and in a streamlined manner, right? And so leveraging the data cloud really brings all of that goodness, all of that data goodness into a single place to be able to drive the insights that we need back into the healthcare ecosystem so that those providers can really make those informed care decisions. Great to hear, thank you, Carly. I want to dive into to your platform for, for a moment. The Innovalon One platform brings together national scale connectivity, real-time primary care, data access, and enhanced analytics to power over 100 plus cloud-based SaaS solutions. How are you integrating AI into the platform and how is it expanding what's possible for your clients? Uh, I, I love expanding the possibilities. That's why we're all here doing what we do, right? You know, when we think about the, the opportunity to use data and AI together, it's about tackling some of the most complex challenges that for a while the healthcare industry has said, okay, we'll make do with the workarounds we have, either a manual process or people to do the work that previously we thought wasn't possible to tackle. And an example of that is one of the biggest challenges plaguing our providers, which are denials, right? Um, we've been really focusing on combining our data with AI technology to predict where claim edits are needed to prevent those denials. So in the past, it would have been, gosh, how are you going to appeal those denied claims? What do you need to do? Bringing that up front and really starting to say, we can analyze the denial trends by payer and understand where those edits are needed up front in the process so that providers can prevent that claim from ever getting denied in the first place. To me, ah, that is exploring and expanding on those possibilities where in the past, providers might have thought, let me just throw more people into figuring out how to drive the appeal system so we can maximize the reimbursement. So. That is, great. I love it. <laughs> great to hear, Carly, and I want to dive in a little bit deeper, specifically around AI. How are you seeing improved data connectivity in AI create breakthrough moments for patient care overall? Yeah, so last week, Innovalon actually launched our one of our new solutions, Patient Finder. And this is really, oh, like, it gets at your heart when you really start thinking about the patient because bringing patients with the opportunity for those clinical trials. So oftentimes there's a difficulty in finding patients to enter in the appropriate clinical trials and patients struggle to understand what treatment options are even available to them. Using our data and AI, we've actually brought forward a tool that pre-screens patients who are eligible for those clinical trials, combines that with our AI to understand pre-screening, right? Will they meet the criteria for the sponsors? And connecting those two together so that the sponsors aren't burdened by spending a lot of time trying to figure out who is or isn't qualified for a particular trial. And for patients, again, the possibility of knowing that there are treatments out there for them that they can engage in for their care, 
I, I can't think of a better example, and we just happened to launch it last week. Well, congratulations. It's such a benefit on, on both sides and allowing the patients when they, when they need it most to provide the care that they need. I have to ask, what's next in regards to your data innovation in the coming year? You know, I'm really excited about where Novlon is going. We continue to look for ways to not just leverage data and technology like AI, but look across the entire ecosystem. At Novlon, you know, we have over 50,000 customers that span the healthcare ecosystem. So we're looking at provider problems, we're looking at payer problems, we're looking at pharmacy problems, life science problems, and we're looking at them with a holistic view across what are the needs of our customers and what are all the possibilities within our data. So I, uh, I won't give away too much, but there are exciting innovations on the horizon for Innovalon and uh, expect more of that convergence across the different uh, customer types. Well, I'm looking forward to continuing the conversation and seeing what's next. Thank you so much. No, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.